As we told you, it would kind of settle south of St. Louis and be more persistent there, and it continues. So uh, friends down in Reynolds and Iron Counties are smothered in some of that rain. Farmington, you're going to get some more of it too. I expect this to kind of hold overnight down to the south. So generally, this is where we'll find the rain overnight, mainly dry, until towards around noon and afternoon. We'll start to see that start to lift to the north. And here's why. See all that rain down to the south? Well, there's a low developing farther south. And as that low follows that track, it's going to help push that rain from the south to the north. So that's why Wednesday afternoon through the nighttime, we're going to get in on rain. And this system has a few impacts for us, not just the rain, but the rain will be afternoon through the nighttime, heaviest in the evening and nighttime, one to two inches rainfall for uh, uh, for most of us. The wind's going to be another aspect of this, and that's not until the rain's tapering off. This is Thursday, so we have time to prepare for the wind. But Thursday morning, 4 a.m. to 11 a.m., gusts 40 to 45 miles per hour. So that may bother you a little bit during the morning drive and may knock over some garbage cans as well. And then there's no severe threat for St. Louis, but there's a very low threat to the southeast Wednesday night. In fact, this is the lowest level one severe threat just for strong winds. I'm skeptical that we'll get enough energy for uh, strong enough storms, but this is at least where the best chance for thunder is. And I think a very low threat for maybe an isolated strong storm to the southeast. All dry right now, though, as we look at the arch on the BJC Skycam network, we're 44 degrees. It's our low for the day. That 59 degree high, that was at about three in the morning, but our afternoon high was mid 50s at 55 so it's been so mild it will not be as warm tomorrow not frigid but definitely cooler so let's walk you through it hour by hour from 11 o'clock tonight through the overnight you notice the rain to the south pretty persistent it creeps up a little farther north some parts of the uh, southern part of the metro from jefferson county to monroe county in illinois could have a few showers but the best chance is south here at 7 a.m we're at 37 degrees though and then 40s in the afternoon notice how the rain's moving from south to north there at noon and then overspreads the area here's three o'clock rainy in the afternoon through the evening. This is the evening drive at six o'clock. It's going to be wet. And then look at this by late evening and overnight. This is 11 o'clock. A lot of the yellows and the reds just showing you some of the heavier downpours that develop. So the heaviest rain is going to be in the late evening and at night during the day. The high is going to be 46, but it will rise to near 50 degrees late in the evening. It'll come back down into the 40s as that cold front passes through by Thursday morning. But by Thursday morning, by the Thursday morning commute, this is it's 8 a.m. Thursday. We're dry, but that's when the winds are really kicking. Again, anytime after 4 a.m. through the morning drive, gusts 40 to 45 miles per hour. So how much rainfall are we getting out of this? I mentioned the one to two inches. You'll see here this model has us at almost an inch and a quarter in St. Louis. There's some spots to the south, though, that could push near or even a little over two inches because you have that more persistent rain tonight into tomorrow morning, whereas St. Louis really gets it in the afternoon through nighttime tomorrow. So daytime high, and that's the daytime high, 46 degrees for Lifesavers, $300 our donation so far. Temperatures uh, Thursday afternoon, 53 as the rain moves out. The winds aren't as strong, but it's definitely a windy afternoon, but the strongest winds Thursday are in the morning. But in the afternoon, some sunshine, 53, a little breezy. And then here comes some cold air Friday that has some rain with some snow mix in it, but temperatures are above freezing. So that should keep the impacts to a minimum. But there is a chance to see some wet slushy snow in the mix on Friday, mainly in the mid morning to around noon in St. Louis. And then we dry things out Friday night, Saturday and Sunday. In fact, we get a little warming trend. Highs are in the mid 40s for Saturday. How about mid 50s by Sunday?